Hello everybody and welcome to this new episode of this Lumion course in where we are gonna see the panel of settings. So we left the last episode here with the column and with this imported models library opened. So first of all we are gonna close it. So we will click here in all for example. We will see it later all this menu and then we are gonna go to the setting panel here. Okay, this is related with this number we saw in the last episode in where we can see the frames per second that the graphic card is uh, moving right now and uh, we can see as well the percentage of the use of the graphic card. So let's go to the setting panel, let's click on it and here we have three categories, image, input and system. Here in image we have the editor quality, so here we have four stars, okay? So the thing is that we can put this in lower quality, so help the graphic card to work faster. So here, for example, we will put medium quality, and in the editor resolution, it's more or less the same. It is placed in 100%, so the resolution will be just perfect, and for example, we could put it at 66%. With only those two changes, we will get a very good improvement when we will go back to the build viewport. As you can see now here, the frames per second are around 20 when it was around eight just before the changes. So uh, I recommend you to touch these settings according to your graphic card. If you have a very good graphic card, maybe you can put the editor quality at the maximum and the editor resolution at 100%. If that is not the case, then we will have to adjust the settings. To be more precise, you would like to know that the editor quality, what it's doing is to change not the geometry that we have imported into the model, but the native graphics of Lumion, for example, the sky. We will see it clearly with the sun. We can see here that the effects of the sun now are very low. If I put it in a very good quality, for example, four stars, and I go back again, then we can see the effect of the sun much more clear and much more better. On the other hand, the quality of the resolution, the second option in settings, the editor of the resolution, this option, what it's doing is to improve the resolution of the textures, the materials that we have imported into Lumion. For example, this column, this material. Okay, now we are seeing this material in a very, very good quality. But if I put the resolution of the graphics in a lower percentage, for example, let's say 50%, there will be a huge change. Then you can see now that it is blurry. No, it is blurry. You can't see that uh, definition. If I put it even in a less resolution, the graphic card will work better, faster, but the resolution of the graphics will be worse. So I recommend you to put it at 66%. Okay, now let's go to more options. For example, use proxies. Here we can put on or off. Of course, this option will help us again to move better the geometry. Here, high quality trees is more of the same. In case it is on, it will show all the trees in the editor at maximum quality. This out update preview is not very interesting. So let's go to input. Here in input, we can enable the tablet, we can invert the mouse if we want to navigate with the right button of the mouse in different direction, we can do it here. And we can put on for using the analytics to help Lumion to get some data. In system, we can here arrange this kind of stuff. For example, the mute sound effects, use imperial units. It means to use inches instead of meters write error log that is not important and this is important recovery it must be on because it will help us to create a recovery file periodically full screen is not important so the most important options 
are here in image where I recommend you strongly to adjust this quality, the editor quality and the editor resolution to your graphic card. As mine is not very good as we saw at the beginning of the course, I will put it here in medium quality and here in 66%. Once we have arranged all the settings, we will be able to work better in Lumion. I will say goodbye and I hope to see you in the next episode.